Hey everybody, my name is Jack Roosh, and today I'm going to show you a little blues lick in the key of E, sort of a Stevie Ray Vaughan type of lick using some open strings. So I'll play it a few times at regular speed and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So this lick is going to start on the E note on the second fret of the D string and then with your pinky you're going to want to reach up and grab the fifth fret of the D string and you're going to bend that note just a little bit and then come to the second fret of the G string and then back to the fifth fret of the D string. So that sounds like this. Then from there you're going to want to use your middle finger to slide from the 2nd fret to the 4th fret of the G string. Then with your index finger, grab the 3rd fret of the B string and then hit an open E string. So that sounds like this. Then from here, you're going to want to grab the 3rd fret of the high E string and bend that note just a little bit and then play an open E string and an open B string, like this. Then from here you're going to grab the 3rd fret of the B string and then move up to the 5th fret of the B string. Then you're going to do a slide into a pull-off and it's going to be sliding from the 5th fret of the B string down to the 3rd fret of the B string and then pulling off to an open B string, like this. Then from here, you're going to do the same move you did earlier, uh, where we're going to slide from the 2nd fret of the G string up to the 4th fret of the G string. And then put the index finger on the 3rd fret of the B string and then hit an open E string. So like this. Then we're going to do another slide and a pull off on the G string this time. And we're going to slide from the 4th fret of the G string down to the 2nd fret of the G string and then pull off to an open G. So that sounds like this. And then finally we're going to hit an E note, a root on the 2nd fret of the D string. And that'll end the lick. So I'll play it a few times, slow it down, and then play it a few more times at regular speed. Now it's important to remember when you're learning a new lick, you want to incorporate it into music that you're playing. In this case it's a blues lick, so you might want to play it over a blues shuffle. So I'll just play a little bit of a blues shuffle and I'll throw the lick in there and you can see how it works over a groove. <laughs> Thank you. 